Okay, Matt Freeman from E Wood Art and uh, Tips. Let's just call it Woodworking Tips with Matt. Okay, that's me. Last week we talked about safety. I got my eye protection on now. Uh, don't really need a respirator today. There's not a lot of dust in the air. We're not working with any airborne chemicals and such. So I, I mentioned a little trick that I have. And I, like I said, some people aren't going to like it. They're going to tell me, hey, you're going to dull your bits. Right? Well, so what? Sometimes I got a whole I got a whole bin of bits right here. Okay? I don't, what do I care if I dull a bit or two? Okay, so sometimes you might be working over on one side of the shop and you got all your stuff over there and you know, you're, you're knee deep in whatever it is you're doing. You don't got time to run across the shop and grab a sharp a countersink bit. Now, if you did, this would be the perfect bit to use, okay? This is your regular countersink bit. And, and this is what we're gonna talk about. When you, you done drilled in a hole and you need to countersink it, but you don't got a countersink bit. So what do you do? So let, let's say you got a hole, right? Here's your hole. See, my my bits might be a little bit dull. Oh, oh wait, gotta go forward, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got a hole. Now you gotta countersink it, but you don't got a countersink bit, right? This, this, you don't have that. So what you do, you're like, okay, I'll use a drill bit. Put your drill bit in the drill, and then you grab your drill, and then you're like, oh, here I go. Oh no, you just blew right through it, okay? It's real easy to do that. Here's what you do. Flip your drill in reverse, people. It's as simple as that. Now, you can go right there, and you just push as hard as you want, and it's not gonna bite and pull all the way through. Just like that, and you just wallow it out, okay? You just, there it is. Perfect countersink. Now, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. More tips with Matt.